Frankfurt and Monmouth. And I noticed when I was walking by, there's about, I don't know, it seems like eight or nine blocks are, are roped off with police tape. And there are police at every intersection. So, the entire neighborhood that's surrounded by police tape, you are not allowed in that area unless you live in that neighborhood or live on that block. And what they're doing is they're sending down street sweepers. They're looking for abandoned vehicles and they're towing them and getting rid of them. Today they're doing, they're doing street cleaning on this side of the street. If you don't have your car off the block between one and three, you get a ticket. Also, you can't drive down any of these streets unless you live here. So parking was kind of tough today. I'm on Orlean Street, and about two months ago, the mayor and everybody, all the politicians were down here doing a cleanup. And one of the things that was part of the cleanup is like, doing this to abandoned houses, like boarding them up but making them look somewhat uh, attractive. If you look down there, the, uh, there's police tape down that street. You can walk down this street, but if you try to go in a block, it's kind of, they have police sitting at the intersections. You got, you got cops at this intersection blocking traffic. You have a lot of people who are backing up Man, I feel like this used to be the Lomax Carpet building. I'm not sure. What was Jasper Studios, if anybody knows? Here's a place for sale, 2937 Jasper. Let me know what it's going for. I'm going to say, man, let me think. I'm going to say $100, $195,000. Let me know in the comments. This is, these are, this is kind of a new program. It's like, about a year old in the city, they do the street cleaning. Yeah, so the police tape starts around here. And, uh, I don't know. Go this way. Give you an idea on how much the neighborhood's roped off. Pretty much every block is blocked off all the way down to uh, Frankfurt Ave. Yeah, I was just talking to some of the neighbors and uh, people who actually live in houses on these streets. And uh, they've told me that in the last two months he would say there is definitely a difference happening in the Kensington area. He says he's noticed police are making more arrest. Uh, he said the L is safer. I'm actually afraid to uh, take the L. I took the L <laughs> during the pandemic a lot and uh, you know there's no need to take the L if you don't have to. That's how I feel about it. But he said that the last two months, he's noticed that there's been a big difference. He's noticed that SEPTA cops have been making a lot more arrests for people like evading fares, people smoking on the L platforms. And he said that's actually made a big difference. Oh, there we go. That's actually made a big difference in uh, the way life is here in the neighborhood. He's, he's the guy who moved here, he told me he was sort of, kind of tricked. He, he, he was told that the neighborhood was getting better and it's not as bad as the media makes it out to be. Right. And here we are, back on Frankfurt Avenue. That's Ann Street right down there where the green light is. At, you go down about a half a mile or maybe a mile and that's where I spent the majority of my childhood my grade school Conwell 
just a few blocks in that direction. And, uh, This is something that they have in some of the abandoned houses around here or vacant properties, maybe not abandoned. They have these really heavy duty window protectors and they're kind of like if you want to prepare for a zombie apocalypse, you, you put up these windows. And it's actually, that's one of the things Mrs. Captain watches on YouTube, zombie apocalypse survival. I mean, that's, that's, that's a no-brainer, right? Check out this old sign. They have SEPTA passes and tokens, and it says Mac access inside. Mac is a, uh, Mac is a Philly term that we use for ATM. The Mac machine, the very first Mac machine, was actually uh, installed on this street down, down in Mayfair.